Welcome! This video will guide you through the removal and installation of composite O-ring seals for the Viking RTP E-Series load pump. Before you begin, consult the appropriate technical service manual for safety information and to ensure all maintenance steps are completed. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. Viking Pump's seal service kit contains all required parts and special tools. The following tools will be required. A socket set, torque wrench, soft-headed hammer, flathead screwdriver, P80 assembly lubricant, O-ring pick, and a pick with a hook tip. Following the safety precautions outlined in the manual, vent all the pressure inside the pump prior to removal of the front cover. Keep the pump and work area as clean as possible. Note. The best practice will always be to reinstall any component in the location from which it was removed. First, remove the four front cover bolts. Once the front cover is detached, remove the front cover o-ring. Remove the rotor retainers. To do so, you will need to block the rotors using the Viking Pump rotor locking tool or another suitable material such as nylon or soft wood that will prevent damage to the rotors. Do not use a metallic material to lock the rotors. Remove the rotor retainers using a 24 mm combination wrench or a ratchet and socket, turning each in a counterclockwise rotation. When the retainers are removed, remove the retainer o-ring. Remove both rotors. Note that upon removal of the rotors, the sleeves and O-rings will most likely remain on the pump shaft. If this is the case, remove them from the shaft. Also, if not replacing the sleeve, do not remove the black film of PTFE on the sleeve. This is part of the composite seal. Pull the composite O-ring and liner and seal spacer from the back of the rotor case. Clean all product residue from the rotor, rotor case, and sleeve. Do not use an abrasive product to clean any of these areas. Abrasive products can damage the machine seal areas, resulting in seal failure. Inspect for any damage and replace any damaged parts at this time. Lubricate the sleeve O-rings by using a compatible lubricant. Install the sleeve O-rings. To install the sleeve, first make sure to align the sleeve drive tabs with the corresponding slots in the rotor. Gently press the sleeve into the rotor. Install the seal spacer into the rotor case, making sure to align the slot with the static pin. Lubricate the outside of the composite o-ring. Install the composite seal into the seal bore, ensuring the seal is pushed against the spacer and is flat against the rear of the rotor case. Lubricate and install a new o-ring on the rotor retainers. Install the rotors onto the shaft from which they were removed. Note that the missing spline of the rotor will need to be aligned with the missing spline of the shaft. The rotor retainer may be used to gently pull the rotors into place. Block the rotors using the rotor locking tool. Torque the rotor retainers to 80 foot-pounds. Note that all torque specifications can be found within the instruction manual. Properly clean the front cover and o-ring groove. Lubricate and install a new front cover o-ring.
Install the front cover and bolts. Torque the front cover bolts to 40 foot-pounds. Again, these torque specifications can be found in the instruction manual. Your Viking RTPE series low pump is ready to be put back into service. Follow the suggested maintenance schedule located in the manual for a long, trouble-free service life. To learn more, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.